From streaming your favorite shows to making a phone call, our world relies on data transmission more than ever. But how exactly do we do that? It starts with the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is a range of frequencies and wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation. Like waves in a lake or the big parachute from gym class, electromagnetic waves transmit energy. That energy comes from electrons moving through space at the speed of light. The more energy a wave carries, the higher its frequency. Frequency describes how many of the waves pass a given point in a second, measured in hertz. One wave per second is one hertz. Higher energy waves also have a shorter wavelength, which is the distance from the crest of one wave to the next. Electromagnetic waves are always all around us, but we don't notice most of them. The waves that usually catch our attention are those in the visible light spectrum. What we see as color is actually an object reflecting waves within that spectrum back to us. Objects also reflect other waves, but <laughs> we can't see those. Gamma rays are one example. They have the highest energy, hence the highest frequency and shortest wavelength of any waves on the spectrum. Microwaves are a bit more familiar to most of us. Outside of the microwave oven, they're used in radar, satellite communication, and wireless networking technologies such as Wi-Fi. Fixed wireless broadband relies on a different range of electromagnetic waves, radio waves, to transmit signals without any wires or cable using specific frequencies. As you might imagine, those specific frequencies can get crowded these days, and that's a problem. How do we manage the sheer volume of communications relying on a finite spectrum of radio waves to travel from one place to another? Spectrum management is the process of regulating the use of radio frequencies to promote efficient use and gain a net social benefit. Similarly to how governments and zoning boards decide how to divide up land to bring the greatest benefit to the most people, including defining ownership and maintaining rules, spectrum management helps ensure that no one entity takes up too much of the spectrum and limits use for others. It allows us to efficiently use radio waves for what matters, staying connected. Learn more about how the electromagnetic spectrum powers data transmission at HowDataMoves.com.